Welcome to Armadale Academy. I'm Mackenzie. I'm Darcy. And today we're going to explore a lot of different pathways you can make after you leave school. You'll meet lots of cool people involved in unis, job centres and other different careers. Come with us. Follow us into the assembly hall. Great guys, when did you make these? Uh, today. Today, that's really cool. So what's this about? Um, we're selling crepes to raise money for the um, French ambassadors. Oh, that's really cool. So what do your French ambassadors do? Um, we help promote the languages department around the school. Oh, that's really amazing. Well done, guys. Well, I'll leave you to it. Have fun selling your crepes. <laughs> Okay, so I'm here with Jordan. So Jordan, uh, what's the army about? What, what kind of things can you do in it? In general, so we've got seven main streams that we look at. So combat is one of the main ones. We've got engineering roles, logistics and support roles, medical roles, HR and finance, and intelligence communication, as well as music as a kind okay. of wide variety of seven roles we look at. So you don't need any qualifications to get into the army? So role. What's each, the role, each role you've got different qualification entry points. Right. So depending on job choice, depends on what, what requirements you've got. In Scotland, the she after and the sheet go from Nat fours to no qualifications to Nat five to professional called, all the way up from zero, all the way up to professional called roles. So there's a place for everybody basically in the army whenever it's needed. Okay, uh, I've got one more question for you. Yeah. Are you willing to do an army? So three, two, one, go. <laughs> yes. So I heard you say a little bit of apprenticeships, can you tell us a bit about that? Yes, yeah, so we do a two year apprenticeship scheme where if you pass your first year you have a HNC in retail management and if you pass your second year then you have a HND in retail management so it's equivalent of two years at college but you learn on the job and you're paid the same rate as what all our skills advisors are paid. After the first year if you enjoy it and you're ready you, you can go straight into your first management position so it's a really good way to progress and like get yourself up the ladder a little bit quicker than just kind of coming in as like part time sales. Okay, good. thank you. No problem. Hi there, I'm Colin from Civil Training and this is where I'm a simulator instructor. So this is a, this is what we use as a future training. Okay. So anyone that comes in for training on, on one of these machines, right. if you've got someone with experience who understands the controls like like say yourself who's a novice. Just a wee bit further. That'll do you there. Right, with this control in your pocket and drop your load in the back of the truck. What you've seen so far, can you tell us a couple? I think it's very well put together, very well organised. It's a very good opportunity for all different ages to come and find out what they're going to do. So, here with Mr. McAlpine, the organiser of the event. Hi everyone, it's great to have everybody here this evening. Um, it's really great to have visitors in the school again and finding out about lots of different career options and just speaking to everybody in the community again. What kind of apprenticeships do you offer? Do you offer a certain one? We offer a mix of corporate and customer service. So our corporate's anywhere from like software development, to like business admin, software testing, stuff like that. Um, and then our customer service is in our contact centres, which is like Livingston Sermon. So if you're phoning up Sky, you would speak to our contact centres to see your sales and your service. Um, we also do like home service, which is obviously people coming out to your home and installing your Sky. Okay. Um, what kind of grades do you need for it? Is it certain? For corporate, it is five, national five, grades A to C. They must include maths and English. And for our customer service, it is two national fives, which are maths and English. Okay. Uh, now for the silly one, some of our school captains asked if you get your Sky movies free. You do? We, get Sky, we get Sky for free. What's your favourite? Sky, like original, right now. Right now? Yeah. Oh, um, I've only really just started the last yeah, of us. Oh, right. yeah. So yeah, I'm, I'm really going to go with that one for the now, yeah, like, as in do it recently, but of all yeah. time, Sky Atlantic, Boardwalk Empire, was one of my favourites. Yeah, I'm gonna, yeah, I think I, I don't know, that's <laughs> really hard. Um, oh, yeah, there's too many, but yeah, the last one was definitely yeah, a bunch of Yeah, to watch it, but I'm excited for it. Thank you very much. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Absolutely, so for university you're looking at through UCAS, 
So that happens in about September and then it closes about January. So throughout that process you need to think about maybe five universities you want to apply for and then maybe think about a personal statement which is roughly about an A4 page of why you want to go and apply to those courses. So, uh, and then after that your unis make their decision and then you decide where you want to go. What kind of courses do you have to offer? Yeah, so at Edinburgh and Napier we're a modern university so a lot of our courses are very vocational and linked to employers and industry so I would say our most popular you're probably looking at um, our nursing courses and midwifery, uh, criminology and psychology and most of our kind of creative arts programmes like music, graphic design, product design, um, so lots of lots of those courses. Thank you. Okay, so we're here with Drum and Discussion. Tell us a bit about your company. So, we're an Armadale-based business. We started in 1927, believe it or not. So, we've been around for a long while. We've got just under 200 employees and we run... We've got 10 warehouses, but they're all, they're all within 10 miles of Armadale. But our head office started in Armadale. And we run about 100 trucks delivering goods all over the UK every day, seven days a week. So is there, is there a career in logistics, do you There's, think? Yeah, there absolutely is. So I started my career in logistics. I started in logistics from school, didn't go to university, so university is no for everyone. Yeah, so um, we've got, um, you know, we've in the past we've taken on, we've taken on 16 year olds, who, have, uh, who might wanted to start in the warehouse, we've started them in the warehouse, they've maybe then went on to be a forklift driver, um, we've got a driver trainer, so we've trained them in forklift operators, and then maybe a few years later if they stick with us, put the effort in, they end up driving a vehicle, and ultimately we have got one or two people that have started with us um, in the warehouse and are now driving an Arctic, you know, up and down the country. Uh, yeah. So there are, to answer your question, there absolutely is opportunities in logistics. Well, thank you so much for coming here today. Um, yeah, thank you. Good to no problem. So what kind of jobs do you offer at the airport? So a whole host, obviously we've got a board behind you, but anything from IT to security, Obviously there's a lot of third party companies, so kind of retailers, um, we've got engineers, I work in HR, so the recruitment side of things, so I, that's a, we pretty much touch on everything, um, there's a whole host of different areas. Eh? Thank you. Perfect. Yes. yes. So if you are interested in that kind of degree uh, or, or that kind of kind of career, then what you need is a qualification in arts or a natural right. natural ability okay. with the yeah. arts, so you can design, mm -hmm. and then also a, a science like yeah. geography or biology. That combination is good for this. I mean, yeah, I've, I've, I've been thinking about architecture myself, but I didn't uh -huh. realise that landscape architecture is like quite a huge kind of you know. Yes, we've got landscape architecture, and we have one of the best uh, internationally renowned schools of landscape architecture in, in Scotland. Uh, here in Scotland, Edinburgh University uh, is internationally renowned. So if you get a place in there, uh, and they're desperate for students. You're pretty so sorry. <laughs> yeah, so it's oh, a good career. You get to go out on site, you get to hike up mountains, take photographs, design anything from children's playgrounds all the way up to airports, international airports or motorways, work with ecologists, work with biologists, horticulturalists, arboriculturalists, all sorts of soil scientists, um, producing environmental impact assessments. Um, yeah, it's endless what we do, what we get into, anything that's sort of external to, to the, the architecture as well, landscape architect, where she can be involved. Oh, oh, thank you. So when people think about the NHS, they obviously think about being a doctor or a nurse. Is there any unexpected jobs people don't really think of that um, you do? Yeah, absolutely. There are lots of jobs within the NHS. Um, I was just explaining to another person there, from engineering to electricians to ambulance drivers to bus drivers to nurses and doctors, dentists, we've also got forensic scientists, we also have morticians that work down in the mortuary. Um, all this equipment that you see in front of you, that all needs to be fixed, so people need to learn how to fix those. Um, 
many jobs. We've also got a big kitchen at St John's, so you've got chefs, you've got bakers, you've got people that work behind the counter in there. There's a, a shop in the hospital, so you've got shops. So it, um, so like in terms of like the engineering, you know, usually businesses hire out engineers but they're completely employed to the NHS. Oh, yeah. Wow. Um, NA, at St John's NHS, they have an estates department that is completely manned by their own staff. Um, they do modern apprenticeships, so you would become a, an engineer, you would become an electrician, a plumber, a joiner, a painter and decorator. They are all in-house trades that you can train up for and get a modern apprenticeship for within the NHS. And whilst doing that, you train around all the different hospitals, and you will find one of one of those in the estates department in most of the big hospitals within the area, including Glasgow and Fort Valley. So, thanks so much for the information. I tell you, start just after a few. Bring this one to the list. Hi, I'm Dr. Diane Dixon. I'm here from Glasgow Caledonian University promoting some of our smaller allied health professions. Everyone knows about doctors and nurses, but the hospitals actually take much more than that. So here we've got radiotherapy oncology, um, and these professionals would um, treat cancers with high radiation um, values. In podiatry, we look at the lower limb and we look at biomechanics, kinematics, um, trying to uh, improve people's needs, improves people's uh, health and well-being if they've got rheumatoid arthritis or diabetes. And the final one we've got there is the BSC Honours Programme in Diagnostic Imaging and that's diagnostic radiographers using x-rays, CTs, MRIs, ultrasounds like we've just seen there to ha help diagnose and detect disease. Everybody likes, oh. So you can see all the way down my neck into the, the thyroid, the, 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 the jocular vein, and the cross down. So we use this to detect abnormalities in the vascular system, musculoskeletal system, and uh, major organs. Um, we use it um, in combination with other imaging uh, techniques like MRIs. So how does it actually work? Because I've always wondered how ultrasound works. So we use sound waves. Right. So uh -huh. instead of X-rays, we use high, high frequency sound waves above the normal human hearing range. Um, and the ultrasound wave is transmitted into the body and the echo back produces the, oh, wow. the image. Okay. So depending on the strength of the echo and how long it's taken the echo to receive from the transducer, it allows us to build up a, a B mode image, a brightness mode image on the screen. That's amazing. Well, uh, thanks for your time. You're welcome. Hi, so could you just tell us a little bit about the application process? Okay, so to apply to City of Glasgow College, you need to go to our website and you need to find the course you're interested in applying for and hit apply now which is a button that appears at the bottom of the course when applications open. When you do that it takes you to create a portal to, app to apply to your course. You fill in your details to apply, you can save your application to complete it later. Um, if you're ready to finish it on the spot go ahead and then keep an eye on that application portal for your interview invitation and any progression. Okay. Could you also tell us about some of the courses you could apply for? You can apply for all sorts of things. So as you can see we have um, all sorts. We have photography, we have sport, we have cooking, we have journalism, um, engineering, we have heaps of engineering courses. So please check out the college if you're interested in any hands-on work. Thank you. Okay, so we're here with West Lothian College, so can you tell us a bit about the college and what it offers? Yeah, so the college offer uh, a whole range of courses from level 4 right up to degree level. 
um, we have courses that are specifically for um, school students as part of the school college partnership. So that can be on a Tuesday and a Thursday afternoon as part of your timetable. Uh, what it can be on a Friday afternoon in addition to your, your timetable. Um, and we obviously do a selection of part-time uh, courses for, for people who are perhaps in employment. Uh, full-time courses at HMC, HND level with articulation use into a uh, university teams. All right, well, thanks very much for that. Yeah. Hi there. Hi. Yeah, absolutely. No problems. Thank you. No, no. Um, no, no, no problems. Can I just ask you a couple of questions yeah, about absolutely. like the different opportunities like surrounding? Okay, so as you can see, we've got lots of opportunities. We've got about 55 different types of jobs. You've got technical and engineering, medical and dental jobs, logistics type jobs, all your air operations, pilot, air traffic control, radar operator, it can be firefighter, police, HR, intelligence, lots and lots of opportunities. Um, two sort of different levels you can come in at as well. You can come in at apprenticeship level, or you can come in a little bit higher, which would be officer level, where you're going to be managing the teams, managing the projects, budgets, that sort of thing. So, like, how old do you need to be? What kind of, like, what do you need to do to... Yeah, so apprenticeship level, some don't require any qualifications, all the way up to some requiring three uh, NAT fives. Um, you can join these ones, most of them from 16. There are two or three of them that are 17 because you need a driving license. Uh, any of the officer jobs where you need that bit more experience, you need to be 17, 17 and a half before you can join them. And you're going to need a minimum of three hires and five that price. Uh, so I've got a bit of a silly question to ask ah, that's you. That's okay, no um, How accurate do you think Top Gun was? The newest one? Uh, <laughs> that's American Navy, and the American are always over the top uh, side of it. So, uh, but it, it, it is actually the, the way fast jets fly and work, and that it is very accurate how it affects the body. The actual final bet with a dinner is not, not very accurate. Not very accurate. Well, you're hurting your guys. <laughs> what are we doing? Mother. What are we getting? Famous. What are we famous? We're making famous stuff. Right, so you put your name down and then um, it will be getting drawn by Miss Gribbon before the February break and then um, the winner will win the teddy and the chocolate. Okay. Um, trip to Belgium in June, so it's like brings the price down a little bit for people that like can't yeah. afford it and stuff. So. Hopefully it helps. Hi everyone, it's been brilliant to have you this evening. Uh, it's amazing to have uh, such a great turnout today. What did you think? Um, I mean, I know for sure what I'm going to do in the future and I hope that a lot of you know too. It's been really helpful. Yeah, I think it's been very helpful and I've been able to speak to a few unis about what I want to do, so I know it helped me a lot. That concludes the Curious Fair. Hope you enjoyed it. <laughs>